It's Wednesday near noon. Paul's on his way. And we're on our way as well. Headed out of a very shallow Discovery at Marina. It's really low tide this morning. So Paul's on his way to Parksville, or has already arrived. I'm sailing across Sudal Channel between Marina Island and the Quadra. Sailing downwind, very light breeze, it's warm, cloudy. Doesn't look like it's going to rain today. Headed for the Octopus Islands through Breezy Pass, which is flowing or flooding significantly until about 5 o'clock. So I'm in no hurry. It's only 12 miles away. And right now it's oh, 1 30 already. So if it stays like this, I'll just meander down there. Big jive going downwind and down channel. Or sorry, down current. Good. Coming up on Breezy Pass. Still way too early for the tide. It's uh, flooding and I simply forgot that it floods in the other direction here. So I'm against the current at the moment. But that's fine. Just one of these surge narrows. Can't tell if it's a public wharf or not. Certainly changed since we were last year. Might not get through yet. It looks like it's flowing pretty good. But then I'm not up to speed yet either, so. Yep, still flowing pretty good. But we are making it through. We're exactly at the Octopus Islands, although those are the Octopus Islands. The actual park is way in the distance where those boats are parked. In the meantime, we've got a burger to be eaten. It's already seven o'clock. Been a long day. Leaving the Octopus Islands Marine Park. This is one of the ways out. It's a narrow channel, but it's deep. Headed for the Okasola Rapids where it's going to be flowing about 11 knots as far as I can tell, but in the right direction. Well, these are quite the rapids. There's all sorts of white water ahead. Quite noisy too. One of the many fish farms along local solar channel. Discovery Passage. There's Chatham Point in the background on the port side. The valley's on the right. That's where I'm headed. Of course, it's right on the nose. And we still have about two knots of current with us. So we're sailing. It is nearly as cold as it looks. The weather isn't spectacular, but hey. We're in the Dalys Channel. I'm looking at Chameleon Harbor over there. There's a breeze line up ahead. I just finished sailing some great windward work. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the wind to come in again. It's only somewhere around noon, so I got all the time in the world. Yep, but there's lots of room up here yet. Pardon me? There's lots of room ahead of us. There and just in between the two here. 
Yep. Save you because you don't have your motor on. Well, I could always put it on. By the ladder, way at the other side. But it's it's deep right up to shore, basically. Yeah. by Chameleon Harbor. So the current's against us, so we're playing the back eddies. We're still in 70 odd feet of water right next to the shore. With a current of about one knot against us. Looks a wee bit on the busy side, but I'm sure we can manage. Another tough commute to the construction site. It's going to take them hours. So I'm headed for Blind Channel Resort. See if I can get in. As you can tell, it's a no wind situation. Again. The skies are breaking up a little bit and today and tomorrow is supposed to be not bad and then it returns to rain, so we'll see what happens. I'm not quite sure what that is in the middle of the bay. But that's Blind Channel in the background. I think it's anchored and that's just the current swirling around it. Leaving at dawn's early light. Headed for Big Bay and the current's there, so we gotta take advantage of the flood. That's what we're doing. Coming into the Dent Rapids after the show with the dolphins, and there's still a few more around here. We're uh, hustling along at 7.3 knots at the moment, and yes, it's going to get exciting in here. So we're at maximum flow, and the flow and filter cast is 7.5 knots. So it should be good. It doesn't look crazy just yet. Just throttle back to give the boat a chance to recover. Don't want to rip the rudder off. Not the 
There's some dolphins over there too. <laughs> Large, but it looks pretty inviting. And this is what's called Big Bay. It's Gillard Pass ahead between the two little islands dead ahead. That'll be the next pass. Yeah, the usual collection of upwellings and whirlpools. This will be Big Bay in the background. And that will be Sonora Lodge. Well, that was invigorating. It's uh, 20 after 9 now. I was going through Big Bay, Dent uh, Rapids, and Gilbert Passage at pretty well maximum flow. So it certainly is an insurmountable. Temperatures come up about 5 degrees Celsius. So we're back south of the, the big cold water. Yeah, we finally have some wind just inside the Secretary Islands. Rendezvous Islands, sorry. Turned into a lovely sailing day. It's warm. I can almost take my shirt off, but I won't. A much busier squirrel cove than last time I was here. But not quite full yet. Yes, the rain and wind have arrived. Apparently it's going to be a windy night. I might not get much sleep. Not quite a sunshiny morning. I think it's been raining all night, but no wind. It's supposed to stop sometime this morning. It actually looks like it might get sunny today. Coming out of Squirrel Cove. Small ship. There's a breeze out there somewhere. Been here long enough. This doesn't look particularly encouraging ahead. But we'll see what happens. I don't quite know where that cloud is headed. There's not much wind, but there's enough to go sailing again. Sudal Channel, seven and a half miles from Rebecca's Bed. The wind has done a major shift. It's now coming from basically the southwest, so we're hard on the wind with the spinnaker up. Nice little sail. It's uh, 4.30 already. And this cloud behind me, it is slowly drifting this way with its shot of rain. So we'll see if we can get in there before that happens. Rebecca Spit. A bit busy. The really big cloud has dissipated. And doesn't look like we're going to get a threat of showers. And kids will be kids. Anyway, we'll ask questions. Soon. 